<laughs> See, we talk about men, and men, as men, we know we, we bring a certain amount of problems to the relationship. But we're not going to sit here and blame everything that's wrong in your relationship on the man. Because, see, everything that's wrong ain't our fault. See, see, see all that little cackling, laughing we've been hearing a minute ago, fellas? I'm finna shut that down. I'm back with you now, dog. <laughs> see, when it comes to, to, to putting that spark back in your relationship, a lot of you ladies are disappointed in your man because you think the spark in your relationship is gone. Your love business in your bedroom ain't what it used to be. And you think it's cause he done slipped in his department. But no, no, see, let me straighten you out a little bit. <laughs> see, when it comes to being sexy, women, you have us beat hands down. There is no contest. You are the sexier being. It's something, y'all just, sometimes when you pull the sheets back and you just lay in there and the skin and, the, and them, them circles and, look, look. <laughs> Sorry about that, lost, lost myself for a minute. See, but when it come to being sexy, you all got us beat. See, you all can wear things to bed that are far sexier than we could ever do. See, if you want that spark back, sometimes you got to start, you know, putting it back in there yourself. You know, it ain't a whole lot. We can come to bed in. Y'all got all kinds of stuff. Y'all can go to Victoria's Secrets and, and the mall. You got whole departments with lingerie in it. You know, there's just a couple things you could wear to bed to just instantly put the spark back in it. You know, I mean, you know, like a G-string. You know, I'm trying to tell you. Ladies, there's something in us. When we see a strain, Go down to crack a yo ass. Oh, sh I don't give a damn how big your ass is. I don't give a damn if when the strain go down there, we don't see it no more. I don't care if your ass swallow that strain up like it's lunch. As long as we know it went down in there and come up in the front. Oh, it's gonna be some hell up in here this evening. I'm trying to tell you what I know. <laughs> but see, a lot of you women out there didn't quit doing that because you've been with your man for a while and you done forgot the old saying that the same thing it took to get your baby hooked is gonna take the same thing to keep him. Oh, when you first met him, oh, you did it all candles all up around the bathtub. Little sexy robe with his initial on it. Little sp spray all over the house. Come in, just he don't know where to start. <laughs> yeah, but now, what in the hell do some of y'all wear to bed now? Car, some of y'all come to bed looking like anything. Some of y'all come to bed dressed like your ass is going hunting. socks, big bag of sweatpants, big old t-shirt with a knot tied in the front, camouflage jacket. All you need is a skillet and a canteen. We could pitch a tent in this And let me ask you something. What the hell is bloomers? Where did you find a pair of drawers so big that they come all up over your stomach, right up under your Where did you find them big drawers at? Some of your men ain't seen your navel in seven years. You knew them drawers was too big when you hung them on the clothesline last week and you looked outside and the little boy next door had them climbed up in them and was outside swinging in your drawers.
And what about that pair of underwear that you wear during that special time of the month? Where did you get that ragged pair of drawers at? Elastic popping all loose at the top. It ain't tight round the thighs no more. You got 40,000 lint balls all on them. Look like you ought to take a big shaver and razor shave that shit off. Come in the bed looking like you got a bathroom rug wrapped around your ass. Now you laying in bed talking about, why don't you hold me? Cause your ass is itching, that's why. You feel like a Red Cross blanket. What about them house shoes you've been wearing ever since you met his ass? Used to be all fluffy and pink. Nah, you done wasted chicken grease on them. Syrup all on the shoe. Now your country took them to the shop and had taps put on them. Now you walking around the trailer. And what about that nasty ass rag you wrap on your head every night? When you gonna wash that nasty ass rag? Come in the bed smelling like Glover's mane and sulfur hate. I'm Steve Harvey, y'all. Thank you very much. I love you.